and welcome back guys we're going to be playing some more starfield and i'm going to be trying to make the video shorter if i can so for instance this mission here if it's quick then we'll do another mission afterwards if it's not then we're probably gonna end the video there but i'm trying to make the video shorter and more manageable to watch anyways make sure it's the like button make sure to subscribe button let's get into playing some more starfield This is intriguing. A rather large amount of security for such a small place. Killing of unknown origin detected. Designated outsider. This is an undisclosed secret location. Please identify purpose or depart. Acknowledging receipt of emergency request. Explanation deemed acceptable. Clearance granted to Crucible. Outsider will deliver 150 units of copper. Compensation will be dispensed. Tobias, stand down. We have a visitor. Reminder. Deliver required material. End of conversation. This... this is incredible. For so long we hoped for any... visit. And the day has finally arrived. I wish it were even better. Your arrival is truly an historic one. But many fear what it portends. The societies have closed their doors and are arguing about what to do while the rest hide to see which way the wind blows. Franklin would know what to do. He's the oldest among us. You should talk with him. Give it time, and I'm sure the others will come out. For curiosity's sake, if nothing else. I st it feels like I've waited truthfully. I, I still can't get over you. It feels like I've waited my whole life for this meeting. This feels vaguely like one of those situations that ends with, and they were never heard from again. When your ship landed, I feared the robots would shoot you on sight. I am greatly relieved that they let you enter our community. But you come during a delicate time. Everyone will seek to use your arrival to further their own ends. As well you should. I am Franklin Delano Roosevelt, leader of the Pragmatist Society. Well, it is gratifying that even after all these years, my name isn't entirely forgot. You see, I was an American president. Well, not literally, but in a sense I was. Everyone that lives here are clones. Some of us are clones of the greatest figures of history, and others, well, we don't rightly know. When we die, and some of us die quite often, we are brought back. I cannot imagine how strange this must sound to an outsider. You need not imagine. I can assure you, this is all exceedingly strange. Baffling, even. To us, it's just the way things are. After decades, centuries, of trying to figure it out ourselves, there is so very much we don't know either. The robots clone us for a reason. Their so-called mission. But what that is, and what we should do about it, 
is something the societies disagree about. Sometimes violently. It's best you meet with the other societies, and after, I promise I'll explain the pragmatist's position on matters. <laughs> be careful what you wish for. Word has been sent, so the street should be full again. There is more I would talk with you about, but I would not take advantage of your ignorance. Go speak with the Monirinas and Genghis Khan. You're the talk of Crucible. Welcome to town, stranger. Consider me part of the welcoming committee. The name's Wyatt Earp, and I'd be most pleased if you'd use one of the spare rooms during your stay. For a modest fee, of course. You and me both there. I do the best I can to uphold the law, but the societies make that difficult. I expect I've had as much success restraining Genghis as the Chinese did. I do what I can. Roosevelt and I are both of the same mind on that. <laughs> I can... Well, I hope you enjoy... And by the by, happy to sell them to you. Hope you find what you... It runs hot and cold, and then a society go. I hope you're a rival. I'm hoping you come back for some repeat business. I just wish the societies could get along. I had hoped you would visit me. Good. Know that you stand before Queen Amanirinas of the Kush, queen of a dead kingdom on a dead world. But I earned my name, and even the sands of time cannot take it from me. Your courtesy is appreciated, even though it rings hollow. My subjects are all dust. If you don't believe me, no, you are not alone. Some clones deride me behind my back. I know this. But I feel in my bones that I am a Manirinas for true. The great and the terrible to those who would oppose me. I remember things no one has told me. Memories of faces, betrayers, lovers. Allies and enemies and the smells. The right scent and I close my eyes and I can picture all of it so vividly. It aches my heart, my home, my kingdom. If your mind and heart remain open, you will see the truth of it. Once, I called upon mighty armies. However, on Crucible I still lead. Have you heard of the Believers? Have you heard of the mission? We are the ones who will take our rightful place in these settled systems.
if we could do it ourselves. I do not care if you think my plan is insane. But what I want, what we want, is a chance to prove to the facility we are ready. When someone has achieved their potential, the facility is supposed to set us free among the stars. But the machines have been breaking more and more over the years. And no one has ever been deemed worthy. I need your help to properly fix the facility so that we can prove ourselves and claim our birthright. I need you to go to the facility. The robots and what drives them is not here. The facility is where they come from. Somewhere far to the east. None of us can travel there. But you can go there, please. And see if the facility can be repaired. Then report back to me. to get your hands dirty. I guess the world out there is not so different than here. Genghis Khan, a pleasure to meet you. Manners cost me nothing, but make no mistake. I will do whatever it takes to escape this prison. I am pleased that the dangers out here are of no concern to you. You cannot be fully human if you trap yourself behind walls. The robots taught me many things any Mongol would know. So, hunting game, even such as this. So Frank, some of us think that, but that is blind. Perhaps you are right. Certainly, many in Crucible would agree. Ah, but all this too many of the other. The renegades will not submit. Were it that easy, I have died a dozen deaths trying to find a way out of Crucible. You get too far or disobey too much, then death. Crucible holds our lives in its hands. But now, the robots have made a grave mistake. You... You can go where none of us can. You hold our future in your hands, and all the societies know it. I sense fire in you. Good. You know of the facility, yes? It is not much to ask, and it... No 
queries are being answered. I need to go out there. I want to see it do everything there is to be done. So, you have heard from the other societies. I must confess I'm very curious. You might be the first objectively neutral party we've ever come across. It takes more than a great person to achieve great things. Their traits need to match the circumstances. I fear we would be ill-equipped to do anything except so chaos. The facility has gathered some of the most obstinate and dangerous personages throughout history. It has told them that they should lead in a golden age via whatever means they see appropriate. Setting us all loose in part or as a whole would invite disaster. We are barely fit to lead ourselves. Certainly. It is evident that the facility is decaying. It is both unsustainable and unwise for us to fix and maintain the status quo. Our community must be weaned off the machines, learn how to build, grow, and govern ourselves, allowed to raise families so we can pass our lessons to the next generation, and to die when our allotted time is finished. One day we will be worthy of going to the stars, we are just not there yet. Do not listen to passion. Genghis can be very persuasive, but he's a fool. In some sense, we are an abomination. A science project made for unknown ends and with uncertain results. Once we are fully human, fully self-reliant, then we should be allowed to join the settled systems. You have no idea how profoundly grateful I am to hear that. Go to the facility and see what can be done. Over here! Hey, we need to talk! Listen, it's not safe to talk here. It's about Roosevelt. There's something you need to know. Thank you. There's a, well cave just outside town no chance of us being listened in on please come as quick as you can ideally before you go to the facility but if they all fail i'll meet you at the cave
came. I, I just can't take a chance. These clones, they, they're psychotic, crazy. If they find out, I'm sorry. I, I just can't take the chance. You're just making it worse. I'm not Wyatt Earp. I wish. God, how I wish I was. I was cloned off a monster. America's first serial killer. H.H. H. Holmes. Well, that is... less auspicious. It's like a living night. If you go to the... And if you let any of these bloodthirsty maniacs know, they kill me. I'm afraid it's you or me. I'm going to kill you. I just don't. I don't want to die. I want to believe you. I do. Wyatt Earp was a hero. I'm... I'm gonna trust you, okay? Just don't tell anyone. This... this... I will never grow weary of seeing places like this.
How quick we can get that done. Seems local fauna has been nesting here. Do you think they have burrowed into the ground here? Or they originally came up out of it? You could evade me. Best not to leave anything useful behind.
This is intriguing. A rather large amount of security for such a small place. Listen to Genghis. He will betray you. This will certainly lead to some interesting results. What is this? These papers are fascinating. And frustrating. So many questions I have. But for now, we must find the security override code. To open the rest of the facility. There isn't anything like that in Crucible. This I know. This other ship, the Beagle. This must have the key we seek. Yes, and I know just the person to ask. Ada Lovelace stays out of politics, but the science here is too intoxicating. She will help us. If anyone can find this Beagle, it is her. from a spaceship. Of course we did. And there's another out there? What was the Beagle? Why did she and the Galathea part? But all of that in time. First, we must find her. She's not in this star system. I would have spotted her. Hmm. The radio telescope. It has a default position. It resets every morning. I always wondered... Why point at Bell 5? Petty frustration I've dealt with for years. But perhaps the facility looks for her sister. Yes. Yes, it makes sense. I can send you the coordinates. The Bell Star system is not far. The facility communicates via a secure frequency. When you arrive, tune into that. Simple. I can use my wits and... 
on to avoid a fight, that's how I prefer to do things. You have the chance to prove yourself the superior combatant. And you do not take it? <laughs> you are something else. I'm making another run out of New Atlantis, taking universals out in the stars. To get closer to God and to appreciate the galaxy and all its majesty. Space travel is dangerous, but whether it's respect for our religion... Have you ever felt something spirit? I've jumped dozens of... But I'll keep jumping.
certainly made sure to bring along plenty of robots.
outsider. This is Armani Rivas. Please, we have a dangerous situation developing on Crucible. I could use your assistance. Genghis Khan knows you have been to the facility, and unless we meet, he has said he will war upon us. I have asked Roosevelt to join our talks. In our last conflict, the pragmatists were useful allies. Hopefully, they will fight with us again. Know that we meet under a flag of truce. If any of us violate that, we are outcasts. So no matter the provocation, no battle. Let's go. Please, deadly trouble is brewing. Deal with it and we can converse at length. Please. Good. I see the outsider is here. Speak your words, Genghis, but know that I have no fear of battle, for my cause is just. I know you've been to the facility. I know you have conspired together. Blood does not need to spill today, as long as the outsider promises one thing. Let the renegades go free. I can't have this both ways, outsider. I will not compromise on this. If you pledge to give the renegades freedom, then we will fight against both of you. That is not good enough for me. Franklin, I know we have been at odds. Over many, many incarnations. But surely imagining the believers triumphing sets your blood to boil. <sighs> Genghis. The mission is pure fiction. Of this we can both agree. The best outcome of any of us leaving in our present state is to fail in obscurity. But if one of us succeeds, it would visit untold misery upon the settled systems. Stranger, can't you see why we're not ready to leave Charybdis yet? I had hoped to convince you. Alas. If the mission even has a shred of a chance to be realized, can't you see, Roosevelt? We must take it. Amon Arenas, the pragmatist will not fight today. Coward! As I was saying, I implore you, if the facility can give us more independence... No. The mission must be allowed to continue as it is intended. I sincerely hope you are right about all of this, Amonorinus, because this is our one chance at fixing it. That went as expected. Are you ready to fight, Outsider? <laughs> Let's teach that rabid dog a lesson. The 
spoils the victory. Hopefully they amount to something. Deadly trouble is brewing. We have triumphed, and you are the reason why. All that is left is to go to the facility and restore the mission. To bring a new glorious age to the galaxy? Many have died from pettier causes than that. Stay safe, my friend. Ships detached. Outsider, this is Amani Venus. Please. We have a dangerous situation developing on Crucible. I could use your assistance immediately.
Good. You have come. I have asked Roosevelt to... Know that we need... So no matter the... Let's go. Good. I see the outsider is here. Speak your words, Genghis. I know you've been... Blood does not need to spill. We will not meekly go back to ourselves, outsider. Franklin, I know we have been at odds. Over many, many incarnations. But surely imagining the believers triumphing sets your blood to boil. <sighs> Genghis. The mission is pure fiction. Of this, we can both agree. The best outcome of any of us leaving in our present state is to fail in obscurity. But if one of us succeeds, it would visit untold misery upon the settled systems. Stranger, can't you see why we're not ready to leave Charybdis yet? As you wish. Amonorinus, the pragmatist will not fight today. Coward! As I was saying, I implore you, if the facility can give us more independence... No. The mission must be allowed to continue as it is intended. <sighs> I sincerely hope you are right about all of this, Amonorinus, because this is our one chance at fixing it. That went as expected. Are you ready to fight, outsider? <laughs> Make no mistake. You are their target. They will not rest until you are dead. You may not want their blood, but they most certainly want you. So let's end this. All that is left to bring a new stay safe, my friend. Blood runs in the streets again. I had hoped, however naively, that we were past that. I do not hold you responsible, but your arrival was certainly a lethal catalyst. 
May I help you? So your mission to the Beagle was a success? Let me see. It is... done. There is a standard cipher used by the facility. It took me many years and, well, lifetimes to overcome. And now, the mysteries of the facility await you. I pray you choose what befalls us wisely. Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.